Hi everybody, it's Donnie. How you doing today? I am wonderful. It seems like forever since I have sat down in front of the camera and made a video for you guys and I really missed it. So I'm gonna do a Dollar Tree haul for you today. If you hear banging around upstairs, hubby is actually up there painting. Since we got back from the beach, it has been nonstop busy, but things we needed to get done, we painted the bathroom. And of course you can't just paint. When you do something like that, you have to clean the windows, wash the drapes, do all the deep cleaning. So we're, we're doing it slow. We're doing it one room at a time. We did the bathroom. We did our bedroom. Now he's working on the grand lady's bedroom, which is, which is right up here above us. So if you hear banging around, that's what it is. And I apologize for that, but it needs done before winter. After we do that room, then we're going to move downstairs and do the living room, the front hall, probably the dining room. Oy, it, there's always stuff to do when you own a house and it just, it's crazy. But then we also fit in a short little visit. We drove up to see Allison and Brian and Harper in London, the holistic homesteader. I'll link her below. Went and stayed the night up there, had a nice little visit with them, which was super nice. And then we'll see them again, probably the end of November, beginning of December time frame for our thanks hunt miss but it was really nice just to get away and go and visit them for a little bit they came down here last so we went to visit them so it has been busy and i just have not had the time to sit down and do a dollar tree haul for you guys so i'm going to go ahead and start sorry for the little rambly chat there i finally found if you saw my thumbnail i found the really pretty fall plates and you know what i just got one I have so many plates. I did get a bowl and a couple coffee coffee mugs, but for the plates, I just got one. I figured I would use this as maybe maybe put a pie or something on this, but my my dishes, I have a ton. But these are gorgeous. They're so pretty. They're way prettier than what I expected them to be. They match all the other stuff that they came out with this year, that pretty blue pumpkin. There's blue leaves on here, which I think is just so unique, but I think they are beautiful. And they are by the Royal Norfolk. I, I should know this by now. I say it all the time. Royal Norfolk Company. On the back, you can see it. I haven't even washed these up or anything yet because just got them, but they had the plates. They have the, they're almost like a cereal bowl or a salad bowl, same design. I just think they're so pretty. And they have the coffee mugs. They have um, a smaller plate, like a salad plate. And it says something on it. I think it says maybe gather or something. I didn't get any of those. Nice size mugs though. I did pick up two of these. Oh, I don't have it in here. It must be in the kitchen. And I've been, I've been using the other one. This one I haven't even washed up yet. But these are a big coffee mug. Very nice handle on it. My hand fits the handle nicely. So I'm not sure how many ounces these are. Let's see if it says. I didn't even think to look about that. They are microwave and dishwasher safe. I don't see how many ounces this holds. But it's pretty big. The bowl is also microwave and dishwasher safe. Make sure the plate is as well. Yes, the plate is also microwave and dishwasher safe. So yeah, I just I just grabbed these and that'll probably be it for me for the fall plates. But if I had more room, I would definitely be getting these. Definitely, but I just don't. I've I have so many dishes, it's crazy. All right, which way should I go next, guys? Let's do some food stuff here. Picked up another box of this Idaho in. The mashed potatoes, this is in the original, made with 100% real Idaho potatoes, America's favorite. It's a 6.2 ounce box. These are just nice to have, just quick, easy, quick, easy side dish. I'm trying to see how many servings. You get eight servings in here, which I think is great. So yeah, we when we see them, we just pick it up just to have on the shelf. Excuse me, when I don't feel like cooking, I just go ahead and make one of these. I would rather have homemade fresh from potato, potato mashed potatoes, but these work well and they're good. You'll probably see a couple. I have to make a um, finds and fails video for you too, and they'll, there'll probably be some in there. 
Let's see. How did he pick these up? He, I think we got these a while back, but he can't remember if he had these flavors. So he grabbed, this is the Tapatio. These are the mixed nuts in the salsa picante flavor. And he was thinking the last ones he picked up were just peanuts, and these are mixed nuts, but can't remember. So he grabbed that flavor, and then they also had just the peanuts in the salsa picante. And the heat level is mild on both of these. I wanna see the ounces because this one feels much lighter. This is a 3.25 ounce, best by June of 23. And this is a five ounce. So the peanuts, you get much more by weight. And the best buy is also June of 23. So we picked up just one bag of each, and I have no idea if there were other flavors or not, but in the mixed nuts, you get peanuts, cashews, and almonds. So these would be nice to have to snack on when we're, we're watching the game. And these just called my name. Going Walking down the aisle, I saw these Pillsbury Classic Fudge Brownie Mix. Makes an 8x8 pan size, and it's a 10.25 ounce. I just... I saw them and I had to have them. It's that time of the year when I want this type of thing. I want brownies. I want cinnamon rolls. I want blueberry muffins. I want all the stuff, which isn't good, but it's good. And I don't know if I ever see the Pillsbury brand in my store. So I grabbed a thing to give them a try. I, it's the other one, Betty Crocker, that they always have, but they had Pillsbury. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I'm going to make that maybe today. Looks good. If you guys have tried those, let me know. But I think it's Pillsbury, the other one that I always pick up. And then these looked really interesting. The um, manager actually pointed these out to hubby. These are by the, I don't know how to pronounce their name. Is it Goats? Goat? Goat? I don't know. You guys, I hope you can see that. But these are Carm... Yeah, caramel with creams or caramel creams with Oreo. Caramel creams with Oreo. I wasn't sure how you should say it. Caramel with cream Oreo or caramel creams with Oreo. And it says caramel made with Oreo cookie pieces filled with cream. And it's a 3.2 ounce. I thought those looked very different and interesting. And it shows you on the back. It's the caramels with the... Oreos in. We're going to go ahead and open these and try it. I hope they should be soft, right? Because they're they're caramels. Let's see if I can open it easily here without... Oh, yep, I did. Mm, they smell good. Nice size piece of candy. They are soft. They're a little round with the cream in the center. Mm. Mm hmm. That's good, guys. They're good. Sorry. Even taking just half of it, that's a big bite. Very good. Oh, I like those. I might have to pick up a couple more bags of those just to have. I think the grandkids would really like those. They love Oreos. That's very, very good. So if you guys see those, pick those up. I've never seen them before. Never heard of them. Never seen them before. Very much worth it. Yum. That's just like a nice, they're very rich. That, I mean, it's almost like eating a cookie. Yum. One more food item. It is fall here now in Pennsylvania. We are lucky to hit 70 degrees now. I'm filming this on Monday. You guys are going to see it on Wednesday, I believe. I think we have a couple days here that it's going to hit 70. Other than that now, it's below 70. Evenings are getting in, not nights, are getting into the 40s. We have this coming weekend. We could actually see our first frost back home, back where Allison and Brian live. I think they've already had a first little skim of frost and it's that time of the year where I want grilled cheese and tomato soup and they have these nice size cans of Campbell's tomato right now. It says 30% bigger. 
Yes, 30% bigger than the 10.7 ounce, 75 ounce condensed soup. This is a 14.3 ounce can. So I did pick up two. One can will be more than enough for me and hubby for supper, but I'm gonna put the other one on the shelf. Another thing that I like to make in the fall, I love soup. I love all different types of soup. I'm very good at making soup, but this is just quick, easy, open a can of tomato soup, soup, grilled cheese sandwich on a very cold fall blustery day. Delicious. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those and the grandkids really all like tomato soup too. So that's a pretty good deal there. I showed that, <clears throat> picked up these. If you guys were watching my hauls from the beach, I found those um, candle holders. They're like a black metal. And I do have real candles, you know, the wax candle tapers, but I wanted to try these and see how they work. And in my store that I stopped at, they only had three. So I did grab them all because I need five. I grabbed the three and these are LED tapers and it says they last 240 total hours and it has a flickering flame. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. I did not try them yet in the candle, the candle um, candlesticks themselves, but I need to. Let's see if it, do I need to take something off here? Oh, what was that? Something made a noise. Oh, it needs batteries. They need batteries, I'm sorry guys. What size batteries do they take? It looks like a trip, a double A. And I don't think I have any here handy. I did not throw any here in my desk, but I, it looks like they take double A batteries. Two triple A, I'm sorry, three triple A batteries is what they take. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And when I do, I will show you just to let you know if they fit or not in that in that candle holder. This one looks more gray, but it isn't, it's white. It's just the plastic that's making it look gray. So I picked up three and I'll have to grab, I'll have to grab two more when I see them again in my store. I'd like to have them before, before Thanksgiving, definitely before Christmas. So if you guys have tried that, if you know if these work fit in those candlesticks, please let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe I'll put some batteries that in the, that and show it to you in a in an upcoming video. Is that it, guys? That is that is all for this haul. I showed you everything. Small but mighty. Really curious to see what they come out with for Christmas. I know there's a lot of new ornaments and things like that coming out. And I'm actually looking right now for a smaller Christmas tree to put right back here. And I would like to decorate it totally with Dollar Tree items. So here in the future, you're probably going to be seeing a lot of different ornaments and things that I pick up. And I'm going to put it right there. But I haven't been in Walmart for a while to see if they have their Christmas trees and things out yet. And I need to make a make a grocery haul here soon. I need to run to the store. So hopefully they have just a nice, maybe five foot or something for right back here. So anyway, if you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. Don't forget to go and check out my daughter's channel. It's The Holistic Homesteader. Her husband makes appearances, Harper and London make appearances. It's just an awesome channel. And I know she has a lot of pretty cool things coming up for you here in the near future. So anyway, if you like this, please subscribe. <laughs> I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys mean the world to me. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.